Hey guys, what's up? It's Greg. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys an update on my Solcata Taurus enclosure. If you guys didn't know already, I have two Solcata Tauruses. One is just a hatchling a couple months old, and the other one is reaching about a year old. So they're both still pretty small. I had them in a 40 gallon breeder setup, but the older of the two was starting to outgrow it, and I didn't want to have to separate them. So I did upgrade them to a Zoomet Tortoise table, which is a temporary solution to their size, but it will suit them for another couple months. And I do plan on building them an outdoor enclosure when the summer approaches as well. So I'm going to go show them to you. Now. So here's an outer view of their setup. Like I said before, they are in the Zoomed Tortoise House. You can see the logo on the top left of the screen on the top of it. So what I find really convenient about this house is that it has locks on the outside, which is really good because you can move it outside and you don't have to worry about predators breaking in and injuring or taking your tortoises. And on this left side of the enclosure, they actually have a box where they go in and sleep. And it's actually pretty dark in there. So depending on what time of day it is, if you have it outside or if the lights are on, they can go in there and sleep whenever they want. And you can see the three lights I have on them right now. This is a Reptisun basking spot. Their basking spot stays between 100 and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This is their nighttime ceramic heat bulb that actually goes on with a timer. And this is just a regular UVB strip. So later on in the video, I do plan on opening it up so you guys can see a better view of it. But right here you can see a good view of their basking spot. Right now I have a patio paver in there as a basking spot. That way it can absorb the heat better. And it also gives them a nice flat surface to climb on and wear down their nails. You can see in the middle I have their cuddle bone, which they do chew on for calcium. On the left hand side I have a little rock just so that it adds some nice decor for them. And they can also try to climb on that if they wish. Right now you can see the younger of the two tortoises. That one is Ollie. He is currently eating a mix of Zoomed natural grassland tortoise pellets, green bell pepper, and green grapes. Green grapes are only a treat for them because Solcatas don't in the wild naturally get that much fruit in their diet. So I only like to give them fruit about once or twice a month. And then towards the frontest view of the cage, you can see they have a recti ramp water bowl that they can both walk into and soak if they please. So their substrate in this part of it is actually organic natural topsoil. You actually can't really see it that much though because I do have um, the topsoil inside of their house as well, but I did have hay in there for them so they can one eat that if they wish to, but it was more for something that they can dig in and stay even warmer in when they're sleeping in there. But the larger tortoise of course did drag it out all over the setup. It doesn't really matter though. Since it is the winter time right now, I have them on a limited diet. Their metabolisms do slow down a bit in the winter, and they do sleep a lot more. And in the summer, I plan on making, um, bringing this entire setup outside for them. And if they outgrow by then, I do plan on building them a new one, but I don't think they will by then. And like I said previously in the video, this is not their permanent setup. This is only for right now what the size they are. Eventually, Sulcatas will get up to 150 pounds for the males, and they can live up to 100 years. So this is by far not going to be their permanent setup. I will custom make them something once they become big enough. So I'm actually going to go show you their sleeping area, which is where the larger of the two tortoises is. So this is their little house. As you can see, all you would do to open it up is you unlatch it with a lock system, and then it opens up. And here you can see the larger of the two tortoises. This is Finley. Like I mentioned before, they have a lot of Timothy hanging here for them to burrow in and eat if they wanted to. That is his favorite corner. As you can see, he kind of pushed away a lot of the hay. Here's kind of a size comparison of him to my hands. He is over a year old now. I got both of my tortoises from the turtle source. So I'm actually gonna go put them in front of the food and hopefully get a couple shots of them eating together. So here's a better close-up view of the two. They seem to be thriving with me. They both definitely have grown significantly, especially the larger one. It seems that the larger one tends to grow a lot quicker than the smaller one does. Typically tortoises, I find, once they get to a certain size and a certain age, their growth speeds up with quite a bit. So right now I do have their lights on timers. I have the two daylight bulbs come on for about 12 hours and then they turn off and then the nighttime ceramic heat bulb comes on. But because it is winter time, I do adjust the time that the light turns on and off. 
I recently upgraded them to a ceramic heat bulb because I read somewhere that the red ones could be bad for their eyes. I don't know if that's fully true or not, but I am using the red one for another animal at the moment. And they can thermal regulate throughout the entire setup whenever they'd like. They could go inside of the house if they want to be cooler. The house stays about room temperature in there between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The hottest spot is directly under the bulb on the pavement piece. Now I did open up the top of their setup and rearrange the lights just so you guys can better see them and watch them eat. And I do like to show them eating to you guys almost every time I update you on them just to see how they grow and I have to admit them eating is pretty darn cute. Look at their little grandpa necks. Their little necks are like little old people. I think one of them just won. Here's just an overhead shot of their setup so you guys can see it fully. And like I said before, the lights don't normally stay like this. It's just so you guys can better see the inside of their setup. Normally the top stays closed. But here they are. And that's a little house door that you can go in. So that's it with this video, guys. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any video suggestions you'd like to see. And if you want to see more videos with my tortoises, let me know. I'd love to make them. And if you guys didn't know already, I'm going to be attending the February 11th White Plains Reptile Expo here in New York. It is the day after my 18th birthday, so I plan on picking up a couple things while I'm there. And if any of you guys happen to run into me, I'd love to meet you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.